What's up? This is Tim with Tactics Board Shop. Today I'm going to give you five tips to give you a little more life out of your skateboard deck. First is to try to scrape your tail as little as possible. Don't drag your tail on the ground to slow down because you'll very quickly find yourself with some nasty razor tail and some soggy pop. This also applies to throwing down your board. If you drag your tail on the ground while you're getting a running start, it can wear it away a little bit. There's going to be some scrapes from popping tricks and scraping on manuals, but it's fine if your board gets worn down from actually trying tricks. Rough pavement will wear down your board much quicker, so if you're trying to learn new tricks and flipping your board a lot, try to find somewhere smoother to preserve your board. Second is to not get in the habit of throwing your board out of frustration. We've all been there at the tipping point where we're starting to lose our minds after trying a trick for hours on end, but it's never worth taking it out on your board because boards aren't cheap. And when you throw your board and it chips really badly and your pop gets ruined, you just feel dumb for ruining your board. And obviously don't focus your board either, unless it's already broken. Tip three is try to avoid getting your board wet. Most of the adhesives that hold the plies of your board together are water soluble. So if it gets wet, it can dissolve away, causing the plies to separate, which ruins the board's pop. So avoid leaving your board outside, skating in the rain, rolling through puddles, or even hopping onto your board with wet or muddy feet. If you do need to skate in the rain, use an old retired deck that's already worn down and soggy as a dedicated rain board. This way you can keep your trick set up dry. Tip four is practice landing bolts on all of your tricks, especially down gaps and drops. This one might seem pretty obvious, but landing with your feet on the hardware isn't just a style thing. It's the only way you'll be able to go off anything bigger in size without snapping the board. Also, try your best to commit to the landing as quickly as possible, because kicking out over and over again will smash up your board very quickly, especially if it's cheese grater ground. The last tip is, don't leave your skateboard in extreme heat. Leaving your board in a hot car can sometimes cause your board to warp. Warping is when the plies of the board start to twist from changes in temperature and humidity. It's common to have a tiny bit of warping on a board, and it usually goes unnoticed. But if the board gets really bad, it can change the way the board pops and flips and makes it feel off. If you got any questions or tips of your own for making your boards last longer, just leave them in the comment box down below, or give us a call and we'll help you out. Peace.